Hey everybody, Midwest Picker here. It's been a long time since I made a video. So much has happened, sourcing and selling and real life and family and oh my gosh, I just don't have time. I don't know how people do it, like Kat, the nurse flipper, and Matt, part-time picker, and Scott, uh, Commonwealth picker. I don't know how they do it. The volume that they do is insane. Um, so anyway, you don't want to hear about that. So I went to an estate sale down in Lawrence, Michigan. This was just this past Saturday, June 27. This was at a family farm. The house is 190 years old. So I have relatives that live down in Lawrence, Michigan. So basically I go to visit the relatives, um, hit this estate sale, just make a weekend of it. My father-in-law knows the family and I'm not gonna mention their name, but they've owned this farm for over 100 years. The father passed away about 10 years ago. The mother passed away about five years ago. Um, yeah, so this was the last day, 75% off everything. And if you're interested, the house is for sale. I believe it's 1.4 million and it comes with 187 acres. So it's a pretty good deal. It's also a, a historical site. I'll put a picture up here. It's got a historical marker out front, which is really cool. The garage is really big, but what this was when it was built back in the day, it was a carriage house. It was a stop between Kalamazoo and South Haven. So people would um, stop there with their carriages and they would board their horses overnight and they would stay in this house, kind of like a motel type of situation. That's how old it is. I mean, it goes way back um, to 1830. So really sturdy house. I mean, it's really well built, two story. So let's get into the little video clips that I made while I was there. So those are the video clips. That's pretty cool. That piano was really cool. Never seen anything like it. Um, and I kept reminding myself that everything was 75% off. I kept forgetting. I'd look at something and say, I'm not paying $2 for that. Well, then I had to realize that it's 75% off. So I kept going back and going back. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Um, if you're going to go to an estate sale, you should go as early as possible. Um, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. whenever they open. I didn't get there till like about 1030 which isn't bad. I mean, it's no big deal. I could have went the first day, but I almost never go the first day of an estate sale. The prices are just too crazy. 
If somebody wants to pay full retail for something, go for it. I'm not going to do that. I'll go the second day when it's half off or the third day when it's 75% off. So I got a few little things I'll show you. So I got this aftershave. I know it's kind of funny. Um, it's old. It's vintage from the 70s. It is called Roman Brio aftershave. It's like shaped like a Roman pillar, and it's full. So if you see any men's aftershave, especially perfume that's old and vintage-y, a lot of people like this stuff, and it's discontinued. You can't buy it anymore, and people go crazy for certain ones. So I got this for $2.50. I haven't even looked up the comps. Um, it will ship ground because it's got alcohol-based fluid in there. Um, so who knows? I might have broke even. Or I might have been a boss. I don't know. But watch for future videos of what's sold. And if this sells, you'll see that on that video. Next item is a pair of owls. Nice little hooters. These are ceramic owls. They're kind of vintage -y. I would say late 60s, early 70s, hand-painted. I don't think they're mass-produced. But people collect owls. Uh, unicorns, owls, dragonflies, fads come and go. Right now, people really seem to be fascinated with owls. I don't know why, but I got the pair for $2, so I figured why not. I'll try it. I have not looked these up. I don't even know if there's any like them on eBay. Who knows? Next item is this little cat figure. Not a big deal. Um, got it pretty cheap. Got it for about a dollar. Um, yeah, it's got a funny phrase on the front. No big deal. Haven't looked this one up either, but I figured it's so cheap and there's no damage. That's the big thing, too, with glass and ceramic in China check and make sure there's no damage and there's nothing missing so if he had a hole through his hand and it was talking about golf there's probably supposed to be a golf club so keep an eye out for things like that um, he looks complete with no damage no cracks no issues at all um, so i have no idea what this is worth either next item i got it for 50 cents it's just a pencil box it's kind of vintagey it says school tools it's got the square on the front where you're supposed to put your name and the name of your teacher and your grade, and it's all blank. Now, it is used. Um, it's got some marks on the inside, but it's definitely 50s or 60s. These are collectible. It's pretty old, but it's in great shape. I don't know that it was used much at all, so, you know, for 50 cents, can't go wrong. There's a couple of these on eBay right now. They are collectible. I bought these songbooks for $2.50. They're anti-saloon anti-saloon songs so if you know your history back in the uh, prohibition era uh, before prohibition there was something called a temperance movement where people were trying to prohibit alcohol and discourage people from drinking alcohol and these are songs um, espousing the evils of alcohol so they're from 1909 and they're from the local area of Benton Harbor Michigan so I thought they were kind of neat there's one exactly like this on eBay and the guy's listing it for like $8.46. I don't know why you would go so low. If it's the only one on eBay and it's in good condition, it's not, you know, doesn't have water stains, doesn't have mold or mildew, why would you list it so cheap? I don't understand that. So I'm going to wait for that one to be gone. And then I have three of them actually. So I'm going to list one at a time. They're in good condition. Um, no damage at all. So I'll list these higher, like 15 bucks a piece. Um, so who knows they might sell then after the estate sale my father-in-law and I stopped at a flea market And it's called REITs. I might put a picture up here They have a flea market every single weekend down in Pawpaw, Michigan If you're not from Michigan, I know that sounds funny, but yeah, there's a lot of weird Oops, did I just break it? There's a lot of weird cities in Michigan like Kalamazoo, Pawpaw, Sault Ste. Marie um, Bad Axe, Hell, Michigan. We have a lot of strange cities in Michigan. We don't think they're strange. We're used to it. But anyway, so I got these candy dishes. This is uranium glass. I got the pair for two bucks. It's got like a lace pattern. Um, hard to see on camera, but very unusual. And again, I checked these for damage. There's no cracks. There's no chips. There's no issues at all. I don't think they knew what they were. I did have my, um, my UV flashlight with me so I checked them out to make sure that they did glow and, and they do but I could just tell by looking at them they're really really nice so that's the video guys pretty soon I'm gonna have to do a what sold video I've sold so many things since the last what sold video it's probably gonna be about 15 items I might have to break it up into two videos I don't know I also have lives coming up so today is Monday 
So Wednesday, July 1st, I'm going to be on Bolo Buddies live video, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've never checked out Courtney's uh, YouTube channel, check that out, Bolo Buddies. And she provides a great service for people, and that is what to look for. If you don't know, Bolo is be on the lookout. So the hardest thing to learn in reselling is what do I buy, what do I source, and you want to know that. So she shows you things that actually have sold so you can be on the lookout for those when you're going to garage sales and flea markets and auctions so you don't waste your time and money buying things that are worthless. So check that out. I'm the special guest Wednesday, July 1st. I'll be on there. Um, and I believe it's every Wednesday night. You'll have to double check that. But she has a great channel. She also has a great Facebook group. So check that out. And I think, let's see, am I missing anything? No, I have more lives coming up this month, but it's not been published yet. So I'm going to be the guest on two other channels for the month of July. And then when I get permission, I'll talk about those too, but it's a little too early. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new here and you just landed here for the first time, hit that subscribe button um, and hit the bell icon. That way when I upload a new video, and hopefully it'll be soon, you'll get a notification. So And put your questions down in the comments. If you have any questions at all, put them down in the comment section when it's related to reselling, if you have questions about shipping and sourcing and listing and all that kind of stuff. If you want to contact me, the easy way is to go to MidwestPicker.com and it links you to my Instagram. My email is down below in the description too. So that's it. Short video, not too bad. See you next time.